Hello, I'm Claire Louise Hay from BeHealing.com and this is the energy update for all signs for Thursday the 6th of July 2023. I hope you're doing well. I have a live show three times a week here on YouTube. It's called Psychic Cafe. In there I give a live twin flame read for the collective, but I also give mini reads, one question readings in there. Now you can book in for one of those one question readings on my website BeHealing.com at any point. There's a link in the description box below and also one up there too. And I will do your reading in the next live show right at the start and then send you the link to the replay. I also offer private readings from my website BeHealing.com as well. If you want something longer and more guidance in it, then you might want to get one of those. If you do, I'll pop a link for it in the description box below and also one up there too. I get those out within 48 hours if you're ordering them. If it says it's sold out, it's just sold out for the day. So do check back a day or so later. And if you've got questions for your reading, then click on the contact us page. After you've booked in, you can put your questions in there. So what's in the energies for everybody today? We've got be still a while and the creation of light. So hold your horses while things get easier. Things will get easier if you just kind of wait. Be still a while. No need to rush into action today. Um, for some of you, this means like you can take a break. You don't need to keep on like struggling and working at stuff. Night magic. This evening could be very interesting. Breathe. Especially if any of you have got money worries at the moment and you've been really trying to work really hard, this says like, be still a while, things will get easier. Kind of breathe through it. Tonight could be very interesting. Okay, let's get into this. It doesn't have to be money worries. It could be money. It could be worries about anything. It could be money about anything. No, it could be worries about anything that you've had. Tell us more. What's going on in the energies today? Three of cups. We could be talking about a reunion. We could be talking about getting together with friends. Some kind of a social encounter. Meeting up with somebody. Oh, I think I am today. Going to the dentist on another island. Not, not on the day that I'm recording this, on the day that it's four. Three of Wands. I've been waiting for something. Divine timing for something. Queen of Wands. Time to take action on something. You could be very attractive right now. And the Page of Wands. Exciting news about something. Well, yeah. It all points toward having a, a pretty awesome evening. Night. Tell us why the Three of Cups is here. What's going on? I was actually planning on meeting up with a friend while I was um, on the other island. So there you go. Hierophant. Oh, the Hierophant is about um, doing things by the book. Uh, if we're talking about Three of Cups here, a reunion with somebody or meeting up with someone, it could be a date. It could be someone doing things by the book. Um, very traditional kind of dating stuff. Eight of inspiration, direct communication, news of emotions about love, someone that loves you. So somebody could be telling you how they feel about you um, in some kind of a date or a get together. But being very traditional about it, someone that's very traditional perhaps or wants something long term with you. Or they could be talking long term plans because of their feelings for you. Movement into balance and perhaps how you can move things into balance. Mm -hmm. Okay. Three of Wands, you could have been waiting for this for a while or something that you're waiting for, divine timing. Something's breaking your heart. So, yeah, this could be something that you've waited for a long time. It's interesting that be still a while. I wonder if the stillness has come before, you know. I wonder if you've been still for ages and that be still a while is saying like, You've been still, now there's a new day and things change, things change today. So anything that has been kind of stagnant in your life could be really, that has been breaking your heart, could be turning around today, it could be divine timing kind of a day. The Queen of Wands, you're very attractive and there's a need to take action. Magician, something you've been manifesting, night of inspiration, someone coming towards you with passion. Could be talking romance here, it could be a romantic day. Um, someone could have been manifesting you as well, manifesting a date with you or something like that. What's behind this is ancient wisdom. You knew it would happen. If you have been like 
hanging back and waiting for somebody to approach you right we could be talking today's the day or tonight's the night for that it feels like it's not the day it feels like the night to me with that night magic card page of wands exciting news queen of materials queen of inspiration so queen of materials this is your energy of being stable queen of inspiration it's that the action taker so we could be at an exciting news about work about something that is open something that's going to bring us a stability money material stuff um or someone taking action toward us but yeah some exciting news coming in and it's all for us with these queen cards coming out so yeah it seems like a very good day to me it could be a lot happening this evening. What's behind that is on the floor. What's behind that is masculine energy. So expect it to come from a masculine energy. Perhaps a boss or a friend or um, someone in your family or partner. What about our love lives today? What's going on in our love lives? When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you've shared with those that you love. And secret admirer, someone has deeper feelings for you than they're letting on. Now, it could be this person that we're talking about today. They could be letting on today. They could be telling you about that. Someone that has admired you for a while, perhaps. What else? Know your worth. Know what you deserve and stick with that now with this that hierophant card it's looking good that someone could be coming towards you with good intentions and treating you right according to the cards anyway of course if someone isn't coming at you like that then don't let me tell you that they are in a reading take them on face value believe the evidence that you have around you in your in your life codependency Codependency, be careful of this. Careful of doing too much in a relationship, of wanting to be needed, of um, you know, kind of binding yourself to somebody there. Daydream and rejection. Oh, wow. Okay. So, yeah, if you have got someone new coming in, you might be tripping out about in your mind about being rejected by them so even though it feels very positive in this reading you might not be positive in your mind you might be afraid that they're going to reject you so when daydreams go wrong and you start daydreaming of the negative happening what you know what if it doesn't work out what if they don't show up on the date that kind of thing what if they don't like me what if they reject me what if <laughs> it doesn't go well just be careful of that energy try and clear your mind and be positive about it what else in our love lives today yeah, we don't want to daydream of rejection. That's not manifesting something good. Mistake and a dream come true. Wow, very mixed energies. So for some, could be a mistake going down the wrong path, but some, your dreams could be coming true. So you do need to take it on face value. These energies are about today. It doesn't mean that you've necessarily manifested these energies into your life, you know. You could have manifested something different than that. But these energies are about to remind you, remember what you truly want, kind of thing. What else in the energies today? Because when the energies are about, when things come up in these daily energies, it doesn't mean that we've manifested it, you know. It, it means we could have manifested the opposite of it. So if the energies of the higher have come up, for example, the energies of like someone that wants long term and all of that kind of thing. If you're still manifesting like the players and stuff and the short termers and all of that, it's not suddenly going to turn around just because these energies. In fact, you probably manifest someone even worse player kind of thing to show you you're not manifesting long term at the moment. You need to shift your energy or shift what it is that you're doing or shift the kind of person you're saying yes to, the kind of person that you're choosing in order for that to happen. Lightning. Control your anger or you'll be sorry. Wow. Rabbit. Too much concern with sexual matters. Seahorse. Family matters. Tankard. Celebration. Fun. Enjoyment. Hmm. 
very mixed energies, right? So think of a yes or no answer question because I've got a red and a green crystal in this bag. I'm going to pull one of them out very shortly for your answer, but this is just a bit of fun because it's a general reading, not a personal reading. If you want me to pull my crystals out of my bag and cards out of my bag for a specific question that you've got, then you can book in for one of those one question readings on my website, behealing.com. I'll pop a link for that in the description box below and also one up there too. And I'll do it in the next live show right at the start and then send you the link to the replay so you can watch it back. I can also use those in private readings as well. So you can book yourself in for one of those. There's a link in the description box below and also one up there too. And after you've booked in, click on the contact us page. Put any questions that you've got for your reading in there. How best to deal with these energies today? Yeah, what should we do? The world. The world, start a new chapter or enjoy your new chapter. But change is happening at the moment. Do things differently. The world. Could be talking about travel there as well. So think of a yes or no answer question now. Pause the video if you're not ready for your answer. Your answer is yes. Go for it. There you go. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click like. Before you click off down there, click on that subscribe button with that notification bell to hear more from me. I do one of these energy updates every single day of the year. I go live three times a week in my Psychic Cafe show as well. I'd love to give you a mini read in there. So come along sometime. And I make three Love Picker card reads a week as well. You can find one of those right there right now and watch that next if you want. Well, have the best day ever. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.